I understood all this stuff. But next time, I'm going to make sure I do that because any time I see something that is possibly factorable, I'm going to want to at least factor it. All right? Now, because this is probably difficult for you guys to graph based on your knowledge. But you could simplify it by factoring. Yep. So we simplify it. And then what we recognize here is, oh, that's a whole. That divides out. That divides to 1, which leaves you with x plus 7, where x cannot equal 7, but then k is equal to when x equals 7. So just like we did before, guys, what this graph, what this looks like, if you guys want to see what that graph looks like, it's at plus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's, all it is is a line at 7 where x cannot equal 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, with a hole at 7. If you guys graph this using a graphing calculator, you will see it's just a line with a hole. The graphing calculator is not going to show you the hole, but that's what it is. Yes? So divide, you divide them out, that is the hole. Huh? You, you divide them out? The yeah. Hole. Now, see, guys, can you plug in 7 into this equation and have it be defined? Can you plug 7 in there? No, because it makes the denominator 0. However, once you simplify it, can you now plug in 7? Yes. Yes, and what value do you get for k that would plug in that hole? 14. 14. So k equals 14. Oh. Gosh. Right. That was